To continue with a little politics this morning with the series of animated profiles of the GOP candidates coming from CBS's Fast Draw team. If you're not familiar with them, they are Just Landis and Mitch Butler. And this morning, they're taking a closer look at Minnesota Congresswoman Michelle Bachman. Every four years, there's a contest to find out who will be America's next top Republican. Will it be Mitt Romney, the executive, John Huntsman, the gentleman, or Michelle Bachman, the Tea Partier? Don't let Michelle Bachman's small size fool you. She throws big political punches and always speaks her mind. Michelle Amble grew up in Iowa and Minnesota, one of four children, but her father left. Her new stepfather came with five kids of his own, and together they formed quite a bunch. Michelle was coming of age while America was growing more liberal, but Michelle went counter to the counterculture. At the age of 16, she turned to the Bible, a born-again Christian. And it was around then she says she started getting inspiration and instructions from God. Bachman says that she didn't marry her husband after falling in love. Rather, it was a vision from God. And it was this. It was a picture of me marrying this man in the valley where his parents have a farm in western Wisconsin. Michelle and Marcus Bachman actually campaigned for Jimmy Carter, but they were Republicans by the time that Ronald Reagan came around. During the Reagan administration, she was growing her family of five children, but that's not the half of it. Over the years, they took 23 teenage girls into their home as foster children. Bachman worked at the IRS. She chased down the people who wouldn't pay the kinds of taxes that she now campaigns against. But the place she took a major step toward potentially becoming America's next top Republican was the schoolyard. She did not like what her foster kids were getting from public schools, so she started a charter school. But Bachman ran into trouble when parents complained that she was putting too much religion into a taxpayer-funded school. Bachman's school days were over, but her political life was just getting going. Reporter Kevin Diaz says then and now, religion is central to Bachman's identity. She believes that uh, the United States is fundamentally a Christian nation, and she doesn't apologize for pushing uh, an agenda of, of what she sees as traditional moral values. In the year 2000, she became a Minnesota state senator, and in 2006, she won a seat in Congress and got all Tea Party before there was even a Tea Party. On the campaign trail today, Diaz says her rallies are unlike any others. When she shows up places, she gets almost like rock star treatment. People just want to you know, see her, touch her, be close to her. I mean, she's almost more than just a politician. She's almost now kind of a movement leader. As she moves onto the national stage, she's still speaking her mind. But the kind of talk that rallies her supporters might worry a national audience. Like calling President Obama anti-American and suggesting God might use natural disasters to punish Americans for deficit spending. An earthquake, a hurricane. <laughs> the American people have done everything they possibly can. Now it's time for an act of God and we're getting it. Michelle Bachman may be having visions of the White House. But this former schoolyard brawler still needs to pass the final exam in her quest to become America's next top Republican.